With the release of Angular 15, standalone components made it out of the developer preview and are now stable. But how can I easily migrate to standalone components? Well, soon standalone migration schematics are coming to Angular. Even though they are not yet final, I already tried them out and here's a quick summary of my experiment. We constructed a simple application that takes advantage of the most used Angular features and concepts to test the migration schematics. The yep. application uses Angular Material as a component library and provides the material modules via a shared module. The app also has a core module that provides a header, footer and some core services. Of course, we also have two lazy loaded features. Each of them provides some services in the module as well as a bunch of components, directives and pipes. To migrate our application, we run the following command, npx ng generate at angular core standalone. The wizard then asks us which mode we want to run. So the schematics are designed to be run multiple times, not just once. Okay, let's first start with the convert all directives, components and pipes to standalone mode. Let's see what this does. It successfully converts our components, pipes and directives to standalone. Furthermore, this schematic is also capable of adding the used modules to the import array of the standalone component. Of course, our tests are also adjusted to import our component instead of declaring it. This is pretty neat, right? So let's go ahead and rerun the schematics. But this time we are using the remove unnecessary module classes mode. In this step, the schematics remove the share and the core module. Of course, since they are deleted, they are also removed from the app module and the lazy loaded feature modules. But at this point, our application no longer builds, since our header and footer were previously defined in the core module, but they are no longer. We now have to manually add the header and footer to the imports array of our app module. Okay, our application builds again. So let's rerun the schematics, and this time we rerun it in the mode bootstrap the application using standalone APIs. Our app now uses the bootstrap application function, which means we bootstrap a standalone application. So we bootstrap our app component. Our app module, therefore, is no longer needed, but it's still there. So it even got updated with a comment that we either have to clean it up manually, or we can go ahead and rerun the schematics, remove unnecessary ng module classes. So let's do that. And as expected, this command now removes our app module. So are we done with the migration? Well, not yet. What about the routing? Our app uses import providers from app routing module. So this means we still use module based routing. So we still have our lazy loaded feature modules. So let's change that. And to do so, we manually have to configure our routes. So instead of routing our lazy loaded modules, we will route standalone components. So we successfully routed our standalone components. The last thing missing is to clean up our app routing modules, the lazy loaded feature modules and their corresponding routing modules. So let's go ahead and rerun the schematics in mode remove unnecessary modules. At this point I would have expected that the schematics now removes those modules, but instead it tells us that there's nothing to be done. So it seems like we have to manually remove them. Once done, we successfully migrated our application to standalone components. Standalone migration schematics are great, but they are not yet perfect. They are a very, very helpful tool when we want to migrate our module-based Angular application to standalone components. But at the current state, a lot of manual steps are still required. To be fair, we have to say they are still under active development and not yet finally released. The Angular team is still working hard to improve them and make them better. So I'm very curious to see how the final version of standalone migration schematics will look like. If you like this video, please leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button.